Okay, I think we're good to go. Audio looks good. I'm back. All right, input. HDMI. All right, I get my controller here. All right, and we're back. We are back for some more of the Metal Gear series. Okay, so uh, if you were here last night, then you'll know that we finished Metal Gear 1. We found out that Big Boss was actually the leader of Outer Heaven the whole time, even though he was also my boss. Uh, whoa, mind blown. Oh my god. Okay, so we found out that that happened, and now we've got another organization building up in a place called Zanzibar Land. It's kind of a funny name, but yeah, there's a base building up that looks oddly similar to Outer Heaven, actually. So we're trying to sneak our way through that. We're trying to save some dude named Keo Marv, who invented some cool technology. Uh, I'm actually going to watch this intro sequence again because I think it's so great. Uh, they've it, it's, it's all 2D, alright? This is all 8-bit graphics, but they've got like a really cool 3D effect going on. Like, they did pretty good with this intro, considering this is like 1990 or something like that at the latest. I, I can't remember what, what year this came out. I think it's 89 to 91, somewhere, you know, late 80s, early 90s. It's pretty old, but this is some good visual tech. This is not the worst 8-bit game I've ever seen. Look at this, they got like blueprints, they've got a 3D isometric thing going on. Someone spent a lot of time on that. This is some great looking blueprints. Some 3D animation. I feel like they might have used like real 3D animation software and then just rendered it in 2D to, to make it. Yeah, this is a great, like, you know, old school video game intro. This is like what people dreamed graphics would look like eventually. They're like, whoa, what if the whole game looked that good? Little did they know. Someday they would get much better. Oh, and there's Solid Snake. Hideo Kojima. Hey, Bosca, how you doing? Good to see ya. Uh, as you can see, I'm obsessing over this intro again. I just love it. I think it's great for the era. Um, let me know if your stream is choppy at all. I switched it from 720.60 to 1080.30. Um... So it's, I, I figure that's a reasonable trade-off. Let me know if it's laggy or anything. I'm interested to know the results. Oh yes, the Fallout style minigun. The nine images of Metal Gear, which also looks like the nine images of maps. <laughs> oh, hope you fix your PC. That's just... yeah, I, I I know all about it though. Just trying to get this uh, Elgato and my webcam to work. It's been a or sorry, Elgato and OBS. I don't know why it's so weird. Works fine on Shelly's computer. Okay, I've actually already seen this, because I already have a save, because I got an early start last night. Yes, I did. I got an early start. Alright, so we want to load the later one, which is this 33. Yeah, I only got about 30 minutes in. I mean, I played for a lot longer, but 30 minutes is what they're giving me credit for. Okay. 
so where do I want to go? Oh yeah, I'm just right here in front of some guards. Okay. Um, this is that main front door, huh? Okay, so what do I have available? Um, do I have cigarettes, infrared goggles? Okay. What? I got discovered. Oh no. Let me back through. I had a card to get through here. Yes. I don't have a box or anything yet. Which sucks, I could really use a box. I'm hiding, yo. You don't see me. I died. Oh no. Okay, so this time I'm just gonna go into that door. I have no reason to be out here. I'm gonna go this way, because there was a guard up there. You cannot see me. I kind of want to get to that elevator area. I think I missed something earlier. Okay, so you are right there. I'm gonna go to the right before I go up. Yes. Alright. Come on, guard. Do a thing. Yes. Sneak this way. Yeah. Butt punched him. Let's go to the second floor. Floor two! Alright. We're in floor two. Alright, let's make sure I got everything on this floor. No, I punched you! No fair! Some guards are gonna walk in, I'm gonna punch them out. Yeah, I guess they, they have a cone of vision this time, it's not a straight line, like in the old game. Like in MG1. Let me just go in here real quick. Ooh! Binoculars! Okay, good. Alright, I needed that actually. Okay. First of all, what do I have? I have mind detector. I'm- oh. I'm literally about to die if I get hit one more time. So I better take that. I've got binoculars, I've got infrared goggles, I've got gas mask, um, I've got mind detector, and I've got card two. I remember I fought a boss. What was his name? Black Ninja. Yeah, I fought Black Ninja yesterday, and then he revealed to me that he was actually Snyder from Metal Gear 1. And it's like, what, Snyder? You lived through all that, and like now you're an enemy, and... He gave me some, like, pretty heavy news. He was like, dude, Solid Snake, like, you were responsible for a bunch of war orphans getting killed in that blast. And I was like, what? No way. He was like, yeah, Big Boss saved them. And you got them killed. You're a dick, so now I'm trying to kill you. Uh, so I had to kill him, unfortunately. Now I'm starting to wonder if I'm really the good guy or if I'm just the bad guy. And I think that's kind of what the whole series is really about, is that you don't really know if you're the good guy ever or the bad guy, you're just following orders. And I just didn't realize that they got this deep this early in the series. Like, we all know, like, Metal Gear, like, 1, 2, 3, and 4, they all deal with, like, super... Or, sorry, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, you know, and all, everything in between. They all deal with some pretty serious issues. I just didn't realize they got into that this far back. 
Okay. But yeah, it's pretty intense. Alright. So now I'm gonna go back to that elevator. Uh, so I want to get to second floor, I think. Uh, I need a card. Get out of my way, yo. Get out of my way. Let me in. Hold on, I think I might be missing something on this. I gotta make sure I check every floor, or every door on this floor. Wait a second. I have an accessory. What is my accessory? Cannot see it. I think I have a suppressor, though. I think that's... The only thing I wanted to get here was a suppressor. I think I have it. I'm just gonna check all the rooms to be sure. Nothing here. Oh, I got undiscovered. Okay. That's a good little hiding spot to keep in mind. Sneak. Are you gonna come this way? What are you doing, dude? Getting punched out. That's what you're doing. Yes, you got punched out. No! I punched your butt, though. He's not here. Let's go away. He's not here. Oh, good. They, they went the other way. I just want to make sure there's no other doors. No doors there. I just want to make sure I've cleared this floor. Pretty sure I've cleared everything here. Okay, this door, even. Nothing. Okay, yeah. This floor is done. Oh no, not you. Ah. Uh. No. No. I died. Okay, so the only thing new I got there was binoculars. I'll just Do I have... Okay, binoculars were on the left side. Yeah, I'm still gonna punch you, dude. Come on. Come on. I wanna punch you. Yeah, they're little, like, exclamations like, I don't know where this guy is. I don't even know what's going on. That's stupid. If you take one step, they see you. Like, you gotta be in the exact position to punch them. And that was not even where the binoculars were. I went to the complete wrong side. It was this side. Second door, I remember. Let's see if I can avoid them here. Cleared. Damn it. Didn't work. Oh 
Why do I suck at this game so bad? Okay. I just wanted the freaking binoculars, dude. <laughs> Alert, he's not here. Poor timing. Dude, I'm so bad at this. Holy shit. How does one even get this bad at it? <laughs> How did I fail that so badly? I just want the binoculars. Okay, I don't have them. Alright, um... So this guy is gonna be a dick. What do you do? Literally one step doesn't work. I just gotta run, take it. Nope, that was even in his view. <laughs> yeah, that was not good. So, in case you're just tuning in, I have progressed exactly 0% since I started. Like, I've gotten absolutely nowhere. <sighs> okay, so I want this at least in my inventory. I just don't want this same freaking guard to see me every time. Oh, but then this guy sees me. Jeez. Okay, if this happens one more time, I'm ignoring the binoculars. Like, screw it. I'm just gonna play the whole game without them. Because this is ridiculous. I'm gonna shoot everyone that walks in. Yes. Okay. Finally. <laughs> Got somewhere. Okay. What do I have now? Binoculars, infrared goggles. I don't know if I was... Okay. Submachine gun, I think. Yeah, I got the sub. Alright, so now... They told me earlier, like, you gotta follow some green beret dude. Alright, so I gotta find the dude in the green beret. But first, I gotta sneak my way out of here. Really? I couldn't punch that guy? Okay, well, I'll punch you right here then. Okay, you are punched. Right, yeah, this game's not like the other one where I knew the save points were the elevators. I actually don't know. I just, like, start where I start, and I just, I die, and I may, may come back. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a lot more vague. Ah, uh, of course I couldn't just crawl under that. Oh, wait, I can crawl in there? Yes. Okay, you're not gonna find me, dude. You guys have no idea where I am right now. There's no way. He's not here. But yeah, I think the, the good old-fashioned manual saves exist. Actually, these aren't old-fashioned at all. This is incredibly new technology, be able to, being able to just save exactly where you are. Everyone always made you, like, go to a shrine or something, or go to a campfire, or go to a frickin' owl statue or something. Like, save here! You can't just stop wherever you're playing and save. 
That being said, if I were to die right now, I don't know where they'd start me off at. Okay, that camera can't see me down here. Fuck! Ass! Shit, I don't have any rations, I'm gonna die. You just really, like, cannot get discovered in this game. Or it's like, insta-fail. Dude. Like, and then, like, you can't get away. I, I found that no matter what I do, I'm never faster to crawl when I enter a new screen. I can never get out of the way faster than the enemy can appear on the screen. And their cone of vision is always incredibly huge. Like, you really have to get through it without getting discovered. Once you get discovered, it might as well be game over. I think so far, every time I've gotten discovered, I've had to die to get... to really progress. Even if I get out of it, I have so low health and no rations that it's not even worth it. Okay, so I at least have binoculars. Yeah, it's just like incredibly difficult. Okay. Now I actually want to go down this way. Okay. Because the stairs are on the left side. There's other ones over here. Alright, down there. Yeah. You're getting the butt punch. Gave me some ammo, good. Yeah, this game's way harder than Metal Gear 1. Okay, undiscovered. Yeah, you're getting the butt punch, too. Uh, let's see if I can just sneak through. Okay. Yes, snuck through. Good. Going out this way. Now we're back at the jungle. But... There's nobody to follow. Hmm. There's supposed to be somebody to follow out here. I'm missing something here. These games are so difficult, I always need like some sort of guide to get me through. Like, what am I missing here? Because I have- this is why I turned it off last night, I just could not progress anywhere. It's like, no matter what I did, nothing happened. So, I need to consult a guide real quick just to find out where I'm even supposed to go, who I'm supposed to call, what. I have no idea. Nothing. Okay, so... This guide's not helping at all. Okay, I beat Black Ninja. Okay, where else? might have to do with that green beret I killed, I don't know. See, the thing is, I'm colorblind, so if there's anything green, like, I can't fucking tell. Like, that's just not gonna happen. Uh, so yeah, I'll try this again, hopefully it works. 
Maybe I have to sneak through without killing anyone. Is it this asshole? I honestly can't tell if that's green or not. I have no way of knowing. Okay, I think this is him because there's a dude walking and there wasn't before. Can't let him see me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he saw me. Darn it. Okay, but that's him. So I think I need to go over here and wait for him to come back. Yeah, big F you to developers who make color a part of their game but don't add a colorblind option. Like, what a way to just make your game completely unplayable for someone like me. Because I cannot tell that's green at all. Like, the forest looks green. That guy's hat does not look green. Okay, he looks back there. Yes. Shit. I went down too far. That was my bad. Try again. Okay, go back here and hide in this corner, because I don't think he can see me back here. following him. Okay, you're gonna look back there. Yes, okay. You're gonna look back there. Haha, <laughs> you can't see me. Let me guess, you're gonna look back there too? No? Poor prediction on my part. Okay. We're following you around, sneaking. How do I get to your base, yo? Can't see me. I'm behind a tree. He has a little turnaround sound effect. Whoop. Shit. Oh, all that 8 bit, 8 bit gloriness. <laughs> You're not gonna see me, dude. Aw, oh, that counts. God damn it. That shouldn't. I gotta go all the way back and follow him again. At least it's just here. Like, he literally led me on, like, a wild goose chase back to where we started. Well, not literally a wild goose chase, okay? But he sent me back to where I started. That's annoying. Hold on. Hidden. There we go. Better. Okay. Dude, I am so following you. Turns out I don't need to go up here to hide. I could just go over to this little alcove. I'm wasting my own time. Alright. Come on, dude. Lead me to where we're going. Sneaking through the jungle behind you. You turn back there, I know it. And you turn back after this one. Does kind of sound like a Mario Fireball, you're right. Oh, but you don't turn... You do turn back after this one, but you don't turn back after this one. I can get right up your butt. Yeah. Ha!
You cannot see me. You're taking a really stupid path to where you're going, by the way. Because you could have just went, like, left along this, like, bottom part here, and you would have been fine. But no, you wanted to take this stupid, loopy other upper path. It'll make it harder for people following me. It's not. It's just making it more annoying. Okay, remember not to be in his field of sight at any point. He's getting real suspicious at this point. Oh yeah, you can see me there. That's right. That was how I messed up last time. You don't see me. Not here either. And you go down. Is there anyone behind me? What about here? What about right here? Now I go this way again. Maybe if I do two laps through the jungle, they won't see me. Dude, you're not a very smart- oh, now he's running. Dude, this guy's on to me. He's like, I'm definitely getting followed. Like he's starting to sprint. He didn't sprint the first lap. He's on to me. Yeah, dude, I don't know what to tell you. You're not gonna see me. There's no one following me, is there? Nope. No, dude, no one's following you. Don't we, don't even worry about it, dude. Just go. Like, nobody's following you. You're completely chill, dude. Ha! You were not completely chill. What's in here? Knocking? Oh yeah, that's right. This is the part where you supposedly need, like, the game guide. But, um, luckily I just found it online because they're like, yeah, nobody has that guide anymore. Yeah, I figured out your code. Yeah, I figured it out. I looked it up online, dude. It's 2018. <sighs> Marv and I knew each other from the Prague Academy. We didn't speak each other language. We were scientific comrades. After a fashion. <sighs> so Madnar is here with Marv. He was moved to the tower building a few days ago. It's a tall building a few km north. Damn it, I'm late again. So Marv's in the tower building. Snake, can you guess why they've left me alive? They must need you for something. And that means... Yes, Metal Gear. Snake, it is here. Zanzibar land. They've already completed a new Metal Gear. The one you destroyed th three years ago was only a prototype. The new, improved Metal Gear is many, many times more powerful. They're also working on a light version for mass production. Then it was Metal Gear that attacked the nuke disposal sites. Precisely. Metal Gear is a nuclear-equipped walking tank. Its true power is un unleashed only when it is armed with nuclear weapons. Zanzibar Land is, now has the only nukes in the world and now they have their sights set on Oilix, a miracle energy source. Snake, now that you know all this, perhaps you can guess who is behind it. 
big boss. <laughs> the very same. With Metal Gear and Oilix, he plots to rule the world. We cannot let the secret of Oilix fall into his hands. Science is not meant to be used only for killing. Marv's will is strong, but his heart is weak. We must hurry. I don't know how long he can withstand their torture. If they use drugs on him, he won't last long. Marv and I were both carrying microtransmitters inside our bodies. They were given to us by a female agent from STB. You could get in touch with her if you knew her frequency. Madnar, what are you gonna do? The wall separating us is made of Chobham armor plate. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You can't just blast your way through it. Just leave me here and go rescue Marv. Snake. Alright, I'll come back for you later. Snake. My daughter Ellen is a fan of yours. She's not married yet, and I'm afraid I... Oh, and I have a zoologist friend, Johan Jacobson, who lives around here. You can reach him on frequency 140.40, who will tell you anything you need to know about animals. Don't worry, I'll make sure you get home in time for your daughter's wedding. Thank you, Snake. Alright, I guess we'll try this dude out. 14040. Tell me about some animals, dude. Why does Foxhound use animals for codenames anyway? Who co came up with the idea that animals are so warlike? People, that's who. I just don't get it. Over and out. Okay. That's all you have to say? Alright. Alright, now where do I go? That's the question. Turns out I can get under this house. Is there anything good under there? Looks like I can get under here. Not really. What about over here? Nope. <coughs> Alright, let's keep going. Nothing over here. What about this way? You just go to a dead end too, don't you? Yep. Okay, going over... Going this way. Here's a big looking area this way. Call, okay. 140.00. Snake, watch out, you're in a minefield. Who are you? I'm your number one fan. Keep up the good work. What? I have a number one fan? Well, I do appreciate the warning. Okay, so I can see them on my radar there, and I guess crawling over them picks them up. That's a Metal Gear classic right there. I didn't realize that was this old. Just like crawling, I didn't realize they had crawling this long ago either. Okay, we're still missing a few. There we go, all the mines are cleared. Yes. Okay, this looks weird. Is there lasers here? No. But there's still mines. There are still mines here. Okay, so we're gonna sneak over those. Yes. Let me collect those mines. Got him. Dope. Okay, one more. There's one over here I can see on my radar. Got it. Okay. What? Who are you? Holly. That's Singing Sand. Imported all the way from Okinawa, Japan. It squeaks when you walk on it. The sound will give your position away, so be careful. See ya. That sucks. Squeaky ass sand. Yeah, it's squeaky as shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Why?
Who the fuck wants squeaky sand? Come this way, dude. I want to punch you. I want to punch you in the grill. Oh, I went under the truck. What? How did I... Dude. No effing fair. Screw it, it's just singing sand time. Okay, I have evaded. All right. Oh cool, I can get up screens using this technique? Nice. Okay, I can just crawl under vehicles. I did not know that. Okay. Go a different way, dude. Yeah, don't be a buzzkill. Okay. What's going on here? What? A helicopter? Do I have to fight you? Yes? What the shit? I can't. I have a ration? But, I can't fight no hind D heck, helicopter, what the shit? What? <laughs> okay, I think I'm in the wrong area, actually. Yeah, I think I got to the desert too early. What? There's a kid right there? They told us this is a bottomless swamp and it's too dangerous to get close, but I saw a big truck driving through here. You believe me, right? Uh, okay. So there was a truck driving through here. Okay, you can stop telling me the same thing. Not the right way. Okay, so... I think I just have to follow... I have to follow some path. Maybe not this way. Maybe it is this way. Almost. Okay, so I'm just like basically trying to find an invisible path. Huh. Not this way, maybe up?
So yeah, we're just looking for an invisible path. Via trial and error. Okay, I wonder if I just suicide it to that path, or what? Okay, this looks like a better path. Trucks come in and out of here all the time. Okay. Northeast corner, okay. No, I'm in the southeast corner. This is fun. Just finding the hidden path. I think there was a path up. Oh no, I'm too low. I'm too high up. Crap. No. So, yeah, avoid that kid because he doesn't really help. Oh yeah, this guy. Okay, I want to collect all these landmines. Darn. I gotta do this again real quick. Okay, get you, get you, yes, get that one, missed one, yes. Okay, got that, dope. Let me get all you two. Landmine. I got all the landmines. Okay. Alright, kid. I know you just told me about the trucks. That's it. Trucks know the way through, but I gotta trial and error it. Alright, we are making it through. Yes. Swampiness. Alright, go this way now. You went pretty far left. No? What about a little further left? Can you go up? No? No? There you go. Yeah, go this way. Okay, now... We gotta find a way up more. So I wonder if, first of all, the right way off was this platform right here. So I wonder if there's another path off this. Oh, Shelly, my phone's ringing. It's uh, dusty, it appears. <laughs>
Alright, so I don't think I have to actually go to this island. I think I can just try to find trial and error my way through here. So first of all, I cannot go any other way. I think there's another way up here that I must have missed. No. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna see if there- I'm just gonna see if someone made a map, because this is getting- I'm just gonna see if someone made a map for it. Aha! Okay. So, I was kind of in the right spot. There is a path up from here. Haha. All right. There we go. Yeah. Knew there was a way. Uh, oh, yeah, that sounds cool. Okay. Um, see if I get a little bit further through that. I'm making some progress, though. Probably. I def I'm definitely not going to finish this tonight, though. I I'm way too close to the beginning to finish. Okay, this guy's looking. I'm sketched out. Yeah, classic butt punch. Always does me good. Okay, made it into here. All right. Uh, this is I. Door doesn't. Card doesn't get me through the door. Okay, card one does. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Running man, <laughs> do the running man. I was about to go for a little run. I am Running Man, the world's fastest mercenary. Okay, Kojima. Good one. <laughs> yeah, classic, right? <laughs> no man can keep up with me. See for yourself. I am so fast. Oh, look at him. You can see him on the map there. He's running a full lap. I can't move, by the way. I'm pushing buttons and nothing's happening. <sighs> what do you think? <sighs> Pretty fast, eh? <laughs> Defeat me before the nerve gas gets you. Uh-oh. So, I guess this is what I needed those mines for. Oh shit, how'd I blow myself the fuck up? I died. I failed. <laughs> I am the ultimate of failures. Uh, back here though? Seriously? Dude. Like, I'm tired. I know I need these mines for this battle. It's just so tedious. Old games had this issue where they just get, like, tedious as fuck. New Metal Gears, you know, you keep moving through the whole way. Old Metal Gears. Tedium. I was just learning that time. I blew myself up, and yes, I do have a gas mask, actually, now that you mention it. I didn't even think to put it on. 
But either way, I, I died because I blew myself up with my own mines because I didn't realize that when you place them, he freaking places them in front of him. Like, why would you not place them behind you? It is so asinine. Okay. So now we got this. I don't have to sneak anymore. Do, do, do. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up my map that I found of this swamp. I, I don't care if you guys think it's cheating. It's it's tedious, okay? Okay, so then I go down for a long time. Then I go left for a while. Then I go down again. Then I go left for a while again. Then I go up. Then I go left. Then I go down. Then I go left. Then I go down. Then I go right. Then I go down. Then I go right again. Like a long way I go right. Then I go up. No, I fucked up. Go up. Damn it. I'm missing a path here. I don't know why. I think it's actually up over here. No, I failed. How? What? How? Dude. This is not cool. This is not cool at all. It's not nice that you're doing this to me, MG2. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm not even going to answer your codec call this time. Whatever, I will answer because I don't want to cancel any later. There we go. I screwed up and I got myself bombed. Darn it. I'm just going to bomb myself and try again. Okay. Dude, 8-bit games are so difficult. This is ridiculous. 8-bit games are the hardest. Not for any good reason other than they just didn't have good game design back then. I'm your number one fan! There's mines there. There we go. Collect those. Collect it. Collect the mines. Yes. You need those for ammo. There's some here. There's some mines there. Okay. Yeah, Snake isn't very good with swamp water. I don't know why. Because in M Metal Gear Solid 3, you know, he's pretty good at navigating the swamp. Well, it's not the same guy, I guess, technically, but... You would think the same skills apply. Okay, so we're trying this again. I did it last time. I don't know why I struggled this time. Like, I don't know why I couldn't just get to that little island. Okay, so we're going through the swamp again. Trying this again. Sneaking through. Yeah, yeah. This is very Metal Gear Solid 3-esque, though. So I think it fucks up right here, and it's supposed to actually... 
go up right here. I, I don't think the path's supposed to continue into the next screen. Yeah, right here. That's where the path goes up. Then it goes down to right here. It tells me about the trucks coming through here. Then it goes up. Then it goes right. Then it goes up a little. Then it goes left. Then it goes up all the way. Yes. Alright. Now, I'm gonna make myself a little save here. I don't know if it's gonna help. I feel like if I die, I still go back. Okay. Alright, so this was the point where we had a boss to fight, but can I get through this door? I didn't even see this door, actually. But no, I can't get through it. But I am going to try the gas mask thing this time, because I don't have a ration. Okay, yeah, yeah, this guy. I'm the running man. I run. I run really fast. See? Look how fast I run. And from what I could read, this battle is all about putting mines down. It's all about putting mines down and not blowing myself up. Okay, so I think, I think I'm doing it. Fuck, I blew myself up that time. No. I died. Darn it, dude. Yeah, he's like not hitting some. What sucks is that it's seriously gonna start me back here. What happens if I load my save? The one I made just outside the area. Does it still take me back to this auto save point? I haven't actually experimented with that yet. It just takes you back to the autosave point. Dude, this is so tedious and annoying. I wish I could just beat this part so I don't have to do this anymore. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're my number one fan, I get it. Keep up the good work, okay, I will. I don't think my health is the problem. I think I just need to get good and stop running into my own minds. Yeah, I just need to get a little better, that's all. And yeah, I don't I don't know if I need a ration. I just need to not hit my own minds. Like that's the real kicker. Okay, let's see. 
map. Help me out again, please. Okay, let's see. Getting through the swamp again. Alright, I shouldn't fail at this time. I should actually finish it this time. Okay. Down. Left. Down. Right. Down. Right. And then it's somewhere here where I have to start going up. Right there. Yes. This takes me to just before there, where I get on there, and I go up. Then I go up, then I go left, and then I go up. Don't even bother taking you out. Pointless. Okay, time for this guy to be boring. Running man. Yeah, yeah, dude, I know you are to fastness. Yes, yes, I know. You are to quickness. Oh, his little, like, blinky... Are you serious? Okay. Dude. So, when it appears that when he gets injured, he also has a blinky period where he is, uh, rendered invulnerable. And it's making it so my minds don't work. Okay, this is getting really lame. I'm gonna have to just watch a video of someone else beating this boss at some point, because I'm failing hard. We're gonna be here, we're gonna be at this game for a while if uh, I don't get good quick. We will never get to see the rest of the Metal Gear series if I can't figure out how to beat this 1990 boss. <laughs> Okay, what is um what does this say? Just why why I fail so hard at boss. Okay, sneaking through here. I think I'm only supposed to leave a single landmine. <laughs> Just run your own laps and lay your mines. Okay. So I just gotta... Just gotta get good. That's all it is. Like, I just gotta get good. I just have to... Not suck, if you will. Okay, go left. Go down.
Okay. I think it's up about right here. No, not yet. Time to fail. Uh, this guy's so boring though, he just wants to talk. Like, so much. Okay, so where exactly- he runs right down the middle. I'm gonna try to put my mines there and then dodge my own. So you go... I should keep the gas mask on, okay. No! I died again! It looked like I was doing it that time, though. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time before I finally decide, like, I need to just go find more rations or something. Because this is getting ridiculous. It's like, every time I gotta grab all these land... It wouldn't be so bad if I got to just fight the boss each time, but no, I have to grab all these landmines each time, because I need them. And then I have to get through the stupid swamp every single time. And then I gotta listen to this guy's stupid ass speech and watch him run a stupid lap. Like, nobody cares. Like, I think I had the right idea, I just have to not blow myself up, which I keep doing. But yeah, I think if I fail one more time, I'm gonna call it quits in... Like, cause I got other stuff to do tonight, I think I might just call it quits and then, um, Watch a video or something, cause this is... I didn't expect this to be this hard. I really just want to get to Metal Gear Solid 1. Like, that's what I really want to play. I want to play the 3D era, you know? I'm just doing this as a formality. This is supposed to be a fun experience. It's not supposed to be tedious. That takes all the fun out of it. But, like, man, they just really tried to make this game hard, and they did it. They're like, well, Metal Gear 1 was way too easy. We need to make it hard. We need to make it really hard. Okay, getting through the swamp. All right. Run in right here. Not quite yet. Yes, there we go. Nope, not yet. Left. Up there. Yes. Come on. Card two, I know that. All right, let's hope we do it this time.
I just gotta get really good at my lines, that's all. And I gotta know that he doesn't, if I put one at the bottom and the top of the chamber, he's not gonna hit both. He's only gonna hit one at any time. So I gotta, I just gotta make sure I'm not wasting my mines here. And make sure I'm actually putting him in the right spot where he's not gonna just uh, get invincible and run past my next one. So that would suck. Alright, finish your lap, dude. You're the lamest boss ever. You just, your power is you run fast. That's it. You run fast and there's not a lot of oxygen. That's great. Okay, can I go now? Yes. Alright. Bomb. Alright. Go up here. Let's put one down here. Boom. Okay. Let's put one right here. Just gotta focus on my own lines. Make sure they're good. He's hitting my he's hitting my mines. He is. He's not getting away unscathed. Okay, just to be safe, I don't know if he hit this one, I'm gonna dodge it. Okay. Hit the mine. Come on, dude. Oh, did I kill him? I think I killed him. I think he's dead. Oh, look at that, running man. You... You used my speed against me. Well, what the fuck did you think I was gonna do? What's your name? Don't act like you don't know, it's Solid Snake. Snake? The cheetah has lost to a snake? How could this happen? Guess you weren't fast enough. Oh, sick burn, Snake. Sick burn. Okay. Uh, and that is a card. That is card three. Okay. Alright. Um, nice. Alright, I think there's only one way out of this area. Oh god, I just ran over my own mines. Are you serious? That wasn't even the way out. At least I didn't die. Okay. So I guess at this point, I want to go back to the base. But, can I get in here? There's kids in here. What? I know what that is. It's a stinger missile. They took some to the factory on the west side of Zanzibar building's first floor the other day. Said they were going to put them on some tanks. Kids, you shouldn't be able to tell me what a stinger missile is. What the fuck? I hate people who use guns. Sorry, dude. I use guns. But I didn't lock you in this room. Metal Gear getting all... dark and heavy with their stories. They, like, straight up have kids in this one. Punch you, dude. Okay, so there was a way... I gotta get back. Uh, can I get through this door now? Nope. Alright, so... Gotta find my way back through this mess now? Ugh. This is even worse than getting through it the first time. Come on, trudge along. Okay. Okay. Gotta go down one more time. And then to the right. Nope, too far. There we go. Go right. And left again. Yes. Back to land. Whew. Land ho. Alright. Take me back to my base, yo. Or your base. Whoever's base.
Just back to the base. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I should save. Now I should now that I'm back at the base, I will save. Save over the one I made earlier. Okay, so now there might be another... There should- now that I have a new card... There should be many- Dude, that's not fair! I tried to punch you, I meant to another screen, you were in the same spot. It's not fair. Okay, so there should be doors I can couldn't open before. Oh, pfft. I just dropped a bunch of grenades on myself, wow. That was noob status. Picked up red card, yeah. Picked up a red card. It's cards one through three. That is cool. Dust. I don't know why I went in there, because I don't actually want to go to floor B2 right now. I'm just so stoked that I got that card. Okay, let's go see what other doors I can open now. I'm probably missing a lot on this floor. Ah, you didn't see me, you dickweed. Cannot open that door. That's like a master door. Punched you in the back of the head. You too. Punched you both in the back of the head. But yeah, I got a red card. I'm out. Dude, no way. You got a red card. That was a foul. Still don't know if I was supposed to do something with this room. Attention. I still have no idea what this room does. It's just like a map, I think. I think it's more for, like, the player and not, like, actually a game mechanic thing. Shite. I'll sneak through here. I'll hide. Oh, but thanks for stopping by, dude. Okay, so I think I decided that my red card did not open this door. No, it did not. I think I'm still missing those stinger missiles. I got the red card, though. Oh, and I died. Where do I start from? Okay, in here at least. With, like, no health, though. But, jeez. I'm gonna make myself a new save, just in case. Uh, 
Okay. All right, and I am gonna be right back, actually. I'll be back in just a moment. Gotta take a short break. Okay, thank you for waiting, but um, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna end this stream at this point, and I'll pick up where we left off tomorrow again at 5:30 p.m. PST. This one's getting cut a little short. I've got some other stuff to do tonight, but um, also I got hung up on that one boss way longer than I should have. Holy crap, that took me like an hour to beat that guy just because I kept having to do the same shit over and over and over again. That was hard. Uh, yeah, these 8-bit games are no joke. They are. They are not easy <laughs> by any standards. Uh, well, maybe if you're really into retro games, they might be considered easy, but um, I'm more into the newer generation, so yeah, these games are pretty hard. But I am determined to finish them before I move on, so I will be finishing this game up. So uh, if you happen to be tuned in and you would like to see more, go ahead and give me a follow. And I hope to see more of you tomorrow when I continue the series. Have a great night, everyone.